<laughs> the majority of people who binge drink are adolescents. Oh, we get drunk. When we drink, we'd get drunk until we were like drunk, drunk. Like you don't even know what you're doing anymore. You're kind of like, ah, like all over the place. That's the only reason to drink. I, I don't see, I don't believe in drinking just to drink. I mean, if I'm on drink, I want to get drunk. Not only drunk, I want to get faded. I want to get messed up have it all, like the whole bottle, and just get really, really drunk. What impact does teenage binge drinking have on their lives as adults? Findings from a University of North Carolina study report that adolescents who drink heavily may be more likely to have deficits in adapting to life situations as adults. Teen drinking affects long-term structural changes in the brain's frontal cortex, the part of the brain that allows us to predict consequences control our impulses, and refine reasoning. Experts agree, alcohol is the most dangerous drug of all. There's not even a comparison. This is by far the number one health problem that young people face in our society. What can we do to stop underage drinking? Experts say it's time to speak up about expectations and lifelong consequences. By not commenting directly, they're in essence giving their child permission to continue to drink or get stoned or do whatever they're doing because the child will interpret their silence as it's okay, it, it doesn't matter. I would tell the parent, if you don't talk about this with your child, it's probably going to happen again and again, and it's probably going to get worse. I'm Stacy DeWitt for Connect With Kids.